Good morning from Stone Mountain Campground. Again, today we will explore the campground, go to the swimming pool, and then this afternoon have a sausage and homemade hamburgers barbecue. Just relax, take a deep breath before starting our trip home this week. There's lots of trails for dog walking and right by the shore there's a lot of people fishing. You can have fun just in the campground. It's really nice. There's a converted bus that's been there before we even got here. I love these uh, fifth wheels with these toy haulers with uh, the uh, back that turns into a balcony. It's really cool. I got patio after you take out your toys you get yourself a nice little room there with a balcony and if you got a beautiful scenery like we got here uh, right on a lake or uh, from the top of a hill looking down it's nice on this spot here you can see the mountain and uh, you can see the top of the mountain actually with the sky ride beautiful scenery the site straight ahead to the right is a drive through I've noticed each site is unique. And every time you turn, you see a garbage man. Same guy. It reminds me of a comedy movie I once seen with Chevy Chase with a postman in a pickup truck that's always in a rush. Almost ran him over a couple of times. Can't even think of the name. There's kayaking. And there's geese and ducks walking everywhere. These tents are pretty cool. They're called Ute Sites, Y-U-R-T. And uh, they're made out of wood and canvas. They have AC heat, water, and sewer that works. The only thing you gotta bring is your own sleeping bag. Some amenities for staying in the campground are Ride the Ducks vehicle leaves from the Lee Wallen Pavilion every Saturday. Lee Wallen Pavilion is right across the check-in office, which is where the flag is flying right now. Also in this pavilion, they serve coffee in Danish every morning. I think they have bingo here as well. Look at the December schedule. This is where they also have Santa Claus for the kids. The swimming pool is really nice. Plenty of room in there. And this is open uh, seasonally. It's got uh, plenty of umbrellas, chairs, it even has a uh, wheelchair access. There's um, a small uh, elevator directly ahead right now where there's a cover on the side of the pool there. That's what that is. It's a small elevator that puts invalids into the pool. Well, I gotta get back to the campsite. It's barbecue time. While the rest of the family is hanging out at the pool, I'm starting up the barbecue. I've had this barbecue for almost 10 years. I bring it everywhere. No matter where I go, we bring this puppy. It's really easy to clean. All you gotta do is take the top off, turn on the uh, propane, and just hit the button. It lights right up. You can't see the flame very well on it, but as soon as it gets dark in there, you can see in there it's all nice and uh, glowy. And as soon as that uh, top gets nice and warm, it's ready to cook. When that needle hits the uh, orange area, that's when I start putting the food on there. And it cooks it pretty quick. You can usually feel the top, it gets very hot. It's just about between the yellow and the orange. To spray in the top with olive oil, it's ready to rock and roll. I'm going to start with the uh, sausages, the regular four or five inch links. And then we have the coil type there. That's uh, parsley, uh, provolone cheese. I'll go over the ingredients there while I'm cooking it. But it's a very thin, it, looks, it almost looks like a breakfast sausage. It's really interesting. Uh, tasty it is. They originated from uh, southern Italy and the name uh, that was exported to this country back years ago uh, the dialect name is Shivala which who knows what the heck that means. They call it so many different names who knows what it was originally called. 
Now sausages tend to shrivel, of course, if you overcook them. So it's important that you don't immediately expose sausages to high heat, uh, since the outer casing will crack open immediately then you lose all the nice juices another thing you don't want to use while cooking sausages forks you know anything that could stab uh, the uh, outer skin use thongs if you can or a spatula to turn them you know piercing it is the sausage with a fork releases the fat all the nice juices you know. I start cutting them only when they're almost done then you could use your imagination on what you could do with these sausages. I mean, there's so many different recipes. You can use them uh, mixed up with spaghettis. You could uh, make sandwiches, put some sauerkraut on it. What we call these sausages is cheese and parsley sausage. They make them in chicken too, but you know, the, the original were pork, cheese, and parsley. Grated provolone or pecorino cheese. Lots of ground black pepper. And most likely, if you ask an Italian you know, from northern Italy, they, they make them a lot thicker, and in southern Italy, they make them a lot thinner. But they all taste the same, pretty much. I've tasted both. And you see them at uh, stores, they're held together with crisscross of wooden skewers. To make sure they're cooked well inside, I always cut them in half just before they finish cooking so that you don't lose all the juices till it gets nice and brown. We are going to eat these with uh, peppers and onions which are already cooked and all I have to do is warm those up and use some Italian long bread. That's one delicious sandwich. And use your imagination. You could put extra cheese if you want, provolone cheese, any kind of cheese. These are homemade hamburgers with basil, fresh ground meat. They are defrosting right now. In the sun, almost. We make them from home and we wrap them with a shrink wrap. Once they unfreeze, you cook these puppies, boy, they come out real good. Yeehaw. Well, I hope you all built up a nice appetite after this. You have a great day and don't eat too much. See you soon.